1897, British forces attacked Benin City in present-day Nigeria. They burnt the city to the ground and looted the sculptures and plaques that once decorated the palace. The most famous of these artifacts are the so-called Benin bronzes, which are now spread around the world. To Nigerians, these are more than just statues or works of art. They are part of their religious rites, traditional ceremonies, cultural history, and recording of what events transpired in the Benin Kingdom. We still don't see these things as loot, as spoils of war. We still have ceremonies in which we make references to certain objects which are not with us, but we know exist. They are indestructible. We know that this Benin bronze was given to Jesus College in 1905 by the father of a student. Benin Bronze Council Minute Transcription 22nd of May 1905 agreed gratefully to accept Mr G W Neville's gift of the bronze figure of a cock which formed part of the spoil captured at Benin, West Africa and to thank Mr Neville for making this appropriate gift to the college. In 2019, the college set up the Legacy of Slavery Working Party to fully explore the historical legal and moral status of the college's ownership of the bronze. In 2016, Jesus College students started a campaign for the return of the Benin bronze to Nigeria. But the work of the Legacy of Slavery Working Party was necessary to move things forward. We carried out extensive research on the historical, legal and moral status of the ownership of the bronze. And we made the recommendation to college that it should be returned to its rightful owners. When the recommendation came to College Council, it was unanimously supported. Returning the bronze is the right thing to do out of respect for the unique heritage value and history of this artefact. I am so pleased Jesus will be the first institution in the world to return a Benin bronze and it is able to welcome representatives from Nigeria's National Commission for Museums and Monuments and the Royal Court of Benin to this ceremony which will complete the handover process. For this object to go back to Nigeria is uh, going to be a historic welcome, which the people have uh, missed for many years. And now they will be able to associate themselves to the object and the history behind it. This will be an opportunity for other institutions and countries to follow suit because it's the right thing to do. And uh, Jesus College has set an example and we will uh, call on other institutions to follow suit.